welcome to another quick tip photoshop video in this video i wanted to actually share with you how i go about adding clipping parts to my um uh, product photography for clients uh, the the reason we add uh, the the clipping part is so the clients can remove um, the background the white background or any background and add their own backgrounds later down the track or, you know or to use it in magazines in print now you might think uh, why not just provide them with the PNG file with a transparent background. However, a lot of my a lot of my uh, clients, all my clients pretty much want it as a PNG, with the option of removing it later down the track. So I'm happy to provide a clipping path with it. So I'm going to show you how I do this. My how I do it. Uh, it may vary to how you do it, and hopefully this might help you to, I guess you know, uh, do, do it another way. So let's get started. So what I do is I've got the image open here now. I'm going to go to um, select tool and then I'm going to select the object. As you can see, it select the object. It did a pretty good job. Obviously for this to nicely, to, for it to work really well, the image needs to be crisp. Then I've got the uh, parts panel open. I'm going to click, uh, click on this um, little icon here and it creates the path around it. Then I can double click here and rename it. And that's it guys. And then I save the image. Now, if let's say when you do that select object and it goes into the um, into the product. So let me just delete this. So let me do the select object again. So let's say the selection has gone into the product. I can clean it up by adding a mask. So I just got to clear select mask, select and mask. These are my settings, so I'm just going to click OK and always make sure that it's on a new layer with the mask. Click OK. And there it is. Now what I will do is I'll just clean up. For the purpose of this video, I won't do it. something there's something for me to clean. I'm just going to clean it up and I'm clean it up. Once I'm happy with it, see the mask here on the Layers panel. I'm going to Command because I'm using a Mac and click on that mask. Now it'll select the product for me. Then I'm going to go to the parts panel and create the path. There it is there. Now, when I save this as a JPEG, it'll add the white background for me. That's it guys. Um, I also, what I also did was I created an action. So let me run the action. I won't show you how I created the action. That'll be for another video. I'm just gonna run the action. I called the clipping path and I've selected the location. I'm gonna do a run. There we go. It's adding, here we go. I'm just gonna go open them now just to see them in the JPEG folder here. Click open. And as you can see, there they are there. I hope that's it guys, that's how simple it is. Um, I honestly hope you got something good out of this. Don't forget if you're new to my channel to subscribe and hit that bell icon. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumb up. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys.